Hello everyone for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Now today is 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 26th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECF ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video and I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. So please like, share and subscribe on both of today's videos. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. If you want to about Glasgow, the third update for the Glasgow Festival will be released tomorrow. However, this video will encompass the entire uh, Glastonbury period, of course, and beyond it even. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get an idea of how the mods are looking today if you're interested in weather for Glastonbury. But uh, the, the next um, Glasgow specific uh, video is tomorrow. Right, okay, let's do this then. Uh, so, we're going to start off with the latest, latest Wimbledon map from EarthNoldSchool.net. Shame I've got low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure. Uh, is ridging up from the Azores. So these areas of low pressure and the jet stream being pushed up to the north of us as the uh, blessed Azores high uh, builds in from the southwest. That Azores high is going to be dominating the weather throughout the uh, weekend and will be bringing lots of uh, very warm, uh, even hot conditions later on in the week. Central England temperature is uh, sitting at 14.6, that's half a degree, but the 61 to 1990 average, that is provisional to the uh, 14th of June. That's going to carry on rising over the coming uh, few days. This is the reason why these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to wreck some today. The red line is the 30 year. Upper air temperature average for Wrexham. We're starting off above average, of course, with the upper air temperature at the moment. It looks like we're in for some pretty hot weather when we get towards the end of week and into next weekend. Then coming down, perhaps briefly early next week, for before possibly taking off again through the uh, last week of June. You look at that, and it looks like we're in for a pretty warm, if not at times quite hot, second half to June there. There are some uh, really hot ensemble members. These ones up here, including the operational run, uh, getting uh, very hot by the weekend into the beginning of next week. Uh, and then again, these ones clustering up here looking quite hot too. Precipitation-wise, a lot of dry weather to come over the next few days. Could turn a little bit more showering over the weekend into early part of next week. That's probably uh, going to be associated with uh, uh, push with the temperatures, maybe triggering thunderstorms and whatnot. And then probably a drying trend, if anything, into the last week of the month. Temperature anomaly is it's five days to the 21st of June are coming out above average, warmer than average week to come. Since the 10 day is also above average as it is the 10 to 14 day. So uh, looking uh, very warm over the next few days, next week or two. Precipitation anomalies. It shows up where the jet stream is very nicely, actually. So uh, where we've got these, these wet and average conditions, that's where we've got all of the areas of low pressure. And, uh, of course, we've got the uh, jet stream in that position as well. So we just get a bit of an impact from uh, the jet stream from the far northwest of Scotland over the next seven days. However, the rest of us are under high pressure. So the precipitation anomaly for the next seven days, 23rd of June, coming out uh, drier than normal quite substantially so and those driving average conditions carry on into uh, the uh, end of month as well so that uh, gets us to the 8 to 14 day precipitation on to 30 of June driving average as well 10 to 16 a day precipitation anomaly to the uh, second of July coming out driving average so uh, it's looking very dry say half of June high pressure back in and essentially we're going back to the pattern we have throughout most of the spring Right, so all that said, let's start going through the chart data. This is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for uh, midnight on Thursday. And, uh, well, basically what I just said, we're under a large area of high pressure then at 1,025 millibars. And as we run through Friday into Saturday and Saturday, high pressure 
dominated the weather, gradually drifting east was allowing these hot southerly southeast winds to push north. So next weekend, or this weekend, I should say, looking like a proper sort of barbecue weekend uh, with uh, a temperature probably into the 30s Celsius. Bags of sunshine, got dry weather as well. By the end of the weekend, this gets us to midnight next Monday, we might start seeing a bit of a fungi trough starting to edge in from the uh, west, triggered by the heat and the humidity. I got again with a large area of high pressure in control through the end of week and into the weekend, drawing up those southerly southeast winds, lifting the temperatures into the uh, low 30s. By the time we get through to the beginning of uh, next week, so it gets Monday 23rd, where we have had a bit of a wobble just here. So uh, next weekend, like some sort of trough has pushed through, possibly triggering some fun. So see it quite well there. That 1,015 millibar uh, line. But um, we go through to uh, next uh, Monday and high pressure is reaching back up from the Azores again. So probably setting us up for another run of mostly dry, warm weather. And then uh, the KMA, well, it's all much of a much as high pressure is dominating the weather through to the beginning of next week. Some very hot air is sitting just to our south. That really fended off until about the 24th, 25th, and then some sort of fungy low starts trying to come in from the southwest, possibly hinting at something a little bit more unsettling to the last week uh, or last days of June. That's not great for the glass stove goers. If you're a glass stove goer, what you miss, you don't want that. Um, no high pressure breaks uh, around the 25th, 26th, and low pressure comes in. I won't worry about that. At this stage, the KMA is turning things unsettled into the closing days of June. And that's what we've been talking about on the Grasso updates. So for anybody watching, um, you know, this, who's been watching the Grasso updates, there is time for a flip. The KMA is doing that. It's not one of the better models, but it's a possibility. We could still get a flip, unfortunately, to unsettled, cool and uh, wet weather in the closing days of June. We can't rule that out. At the moment. Hopefully not. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, moving on to GFS. We've got high pressure right over top of the catch again on uh, Thursday. Bring loads of dry, warm, very warm weather into Friday and Saturday. The high pressure gradually drifting east was pulling up at southerly wind, so becoming hot over the weekend. Uh, how hot it gets remains to be seen. Uh, now we've got 20 Celsius ice firm onto the south coast there, which is very unusual for June, to say the least. Then a fungi low developing out to our west by the beginning of next week could trigger some storms and a cool down for the high pressure coming back in from the Azores again through the uh, closing days of the month. So that's Friday 27th of June under a large area of high pressure stretch from Scandinavia down to the uh, Azores and that high pressure then is in pretty much to uh, months end, to be honest, particularly so for the south. So, uh, you know, really warm, dry conditions, often hot, I would suggest, with the GFS uh, midnight run. GFS 6, then, again, has high pressure in control, dominating the weather Thursday, Friday into the weekend. Again, that high pressure over to the country, low pressure is out to west. We pull up, draw up that southerly wind. Could be a bit thundery early next week with that trough of low pressure, but essentially high pressure still in control. So I'd imagine any first one's likely to be hit and miss. Um, and then, you know, we go up toward day 9, 10. High pressure back in, really, a fungi low just to the southwest. But high pressure more or less dominates the weather. And into the extended, well, check that out. That's Saturday, the 28th of June. Um, that's the kind of pattern we look for in a long, hot summer, I have to say. So you can see how the ridge here, which is basically the Azores High, is stretching hundreds and hundreds of miles through the west of Europe, going all the way up towards Scandinavia and like the northwest of uh, Russia or whatnot, and uh, even out here into the central Atlantic, there's high pressure as well, so, you know, when we start getting those big, big ridges extending from the Azores to Scandinavia to the northwest of Russia, um, they are very stable and persistent ridges when that happens, and that is the kind of pattern we get in our hottest, driest summers, like, I know 76, 95, 20, 22 had it quite a bit as well, I think, um, though, you know, I'm not saying we're going to be a long, hot summer, but 
on our summer forecast, we wasn't ruling out the chance. We did say it could be a very warm summer. We certainly picked that up, uh, and I think it will be. And we said we're not ruling out the chance that this could turn into a proper classic long, hot summer. And, you know, that is one of the things that happens in those classic summers with those vast extensive uh, ridges. So high and dry with the GFS 6M, more or less to be uh, from beginning to end. Check that out. That's the 2nd of July. Still under that large area of high pressure. It looks like it's going nowhere fast, really. And uh, we've brought up plus 20 Celsius isotherm as well. Goodness gracious me, that would be really hot for the early part of July. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe too. I think we're only about, I don't know, 15, 10, 15 subscribers away from uh, 20.2k. So, absolutely incredible the number of subscribers that we've been putting on recently thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed particularly to the glass stove goers for a uh, dear map for us and uh you know just amazing thank you thank you thank you so much uh everywhere i have a lot more to say about this on our live stream which is going to be on wednesday at 6 p.m so hopefully i'll see some of you then okay gm with high pressure dominating the weather through Thursday, Friday, into the weekend. High pressure remains in control, bringing lots of dry, hot weather. Um, high pressure goes on into uh, next week as well. We've got plus 20 cells, ice sperm coming up with the gem as well for the early part of next week. You'll be an outlier because it's June. Very, very rare. I mean, quite rare to bring plus 20 Celsius ice sperm up at any time, although it happens in, with increasing regularity ne now. But, like, uh, that tends to be more towards July and August. But June, it's very, very rare to get plus 20 Celsius ice sperm up. Uh, we do turn a bit fundry there around Wednesday 25th, this low coming in. But then the high pressure's back in again when we get through to Thursday, 26th of June. So the trends are definitely there towards lots of ridging and lots of high pressure domination. And then the East Gem rounds it all off again under high pressure on Thursday into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's all high pressure, bringing lots of dry, sunny and hot weather. And that high pressure fest goes on then into the early part of next week. By mid next week, a bit of a thundery low down to the southwest, starting to edge northeast. Was around day 10, well, hint of something a bit more mixed starting to come in then. So this is into Brasso period, Friday 27th, Friday 27th of June. Doing a little bit of unsettled, perhaps, with the uh, ECM. The high pressure never far away from the south. Most of the rain of that, I think, will be towards the north of the northwest. Perhaps more definitively unsettled, the ECM, by the start of July. We'll see where that fits within the uh, ECM ensembles in a moment. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. So we'll dry, really, for the rest of this week across many parts of the country. Uh, we get through towards uh, day 10. You can't see a few showers and thunderstorms begin to appear down to the uh, southwest. Perhaps a band of thundery rain moving northwards there around the 25th of June. Um, again, that's a long way off, though. I'm not sure about that. We'll see, you know, whether that does actually verify. So these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today uh, for day 10. And, of course, it's getting us to the 26th of June, coming from the Icelandic Metoff. You've got 11 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure just out to the west of the country. 10 with high pressure over to the east of the country. That brings up this very warm, quite hot southerly wind. We've got another 10 with high pressure to our east. And, again, low pressure is out to the west. That brings up southerly southeasterly flow. We've got 9 in trial operational run. High pressure to the east and northeast, but lower pressure down to the southwest. That could bring up something a little bit thundery into the south. We've got six with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, a little bit flat and westerly with that. And then we've got five with high pressure more or less over the top of the country. Brings a lot of dry weather with it. Most of the options seem to be involved in high pressure day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Guess us to the first of July. 13 members of the ECM on signs of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. Could be a little bit unsettled. Showery 12 with high pressure 
to the south, low pressure to the north, flat and westerly. We've got 11 with low pressure to the east, that's going to be cooler and more unsettled. We've got 9 with high pressure over the country. Uh, that bring up a very warm, quite hot, southerly wind. And then we've got 6, just with some sort of a ridge out into the North Atlantic. So, uh, quite a few options there at two weeks out, I should expect, given the time frame. A day 10 looks like most of the options are involving high pressure. We shall see. And then the South SB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height anomalies, and they're broken down into weak pairs. The first weak pair takes us from the 16th to the 2nd of June. The next week, high pressure right over the top of the country, mostly dry and very warm. Hot by the weekend. Uh, week two is the 23rd to 29th of July. Or June, I should say. So, uh, low pressure in the North Atlantic. Copper is having a little bit more showering into the north. Uh, but otherwise, high pressure is dominating the weather in most parts of Europe. <coughs> so sorry, it won't be, won't be a gab video about a cough. <laughs> You've been waiting for it. Um, but uh, high pressure to the south. We a lot of dry, very warm, hot weather into south. Week 3 will be the 30th of June to 6th of July. High pressure again to the south. Low pressure to the north. Again, that brings a lot of dry, of warm or very warm weather with it. And week 4, rounds it all off, is going to be the 7th to the 13th of July. High pressure over and to the east of the country. And we bring up the wind from a southerly direction. Again, could be very warm, possibly hot, given the uh, position of the high pressure will be drawing up a southerly flow. Goodness gracious me, we'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc., etc., etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about gas. Well, get to subscribe to Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. It'll be 10 to 14 there coming up tomorrow as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But this one, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. And bye for now.